And before you do anything, honey, I need you to stop what you're doing and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Also hit the little bell button, which is the notification button, because you do not want to miss what is coming out of Neoville. And so today, guys, I wanted to do a honey garlic um, glazed trout. Now, I will say I may be saying salmon throughout this video because they're so close, but I mean trout just in case. Um, and for our ingredients, we have our soy sauce, we have our honey, we have our rice wine vinegar, we have our minced garlic, I have some red chili paste, and I also have um, some brown sugar. I don't know what size, can't remember what size trout that is, but it's a pretty big one. Um, very close to salmon. Um, you can't tell in the looks, but you can tell in the texture and the taste. Well, I can anyway. So um, let us go ahead and get started um, with our glaze that we're going to be using for this trout. And so I'm using one half cups of our soy sauce. And guys, I will say as far as how much I'm using of each one of these ingredients, honey, it's your kitchen. Do what you want. You can use more or less. It's all about what you want to do in your kitchen. I'm also using um, a half a cup of honey as well because I want to balance out that salt um, in that soy sauce. Um, so a half a cup of soy sauce, a half a cup of honey. Also, guys, I am on TikTok. For those that don't know, um, it's under my name. Um, well, I think it's Neilville's Kitchen. Now, I think I've changed it to Neilville's Kitchen. Either way, welcome to Neilville, Neilville's Kitchen, or you can put my name. You'll see it. You'll see it pop up. Um, so, that was a half a cup of soy sauce, a half a cup of honey, and now we're going to be using a couple of tablespoons of our rice wine vinegar and get that in there. And then we want to use, um, and I would say a fourth cup of brown sugar as you see a little bit more fell in but it's not packed so it was kind of the right amount you can add more if you want to um, I'm going to be using a good heaping tablespoon of our minced garlic um, and guys if you want to chop up your garlic and do it fresh you're more than welcome honey but this is we're trying to make it easy okay the easier the better all right and so um then i got um i put in one tablespoon of the chili paste now if you want it spicier definitely put in more than one tablespoon um and that tablespoon wasn't really all that big i wouldn't say it was a big tablespoon however if you want it spicier it's your kitchen honey do what you want and so now what i'm doing i'm taking my trout and i'm cutting them up into servings now i can't tell you listen i can't tell you the size that i cut these up in honey just cut it up however you want to you ain't even got to cut it up you can leave it whole i also left the skin on because i like the crispy skin uh, on trout and on salmon so i don't never take that off i kind of leave that on plus for me it helps uh, keep it from drying out um, and so what I'm doing now is I'm taking the salmon pieces because I'm going to let this marinate in the fridge um, in that sauce. And so I'm taking my sauce, I put half the salmon in and then I'm going to pour in half of the liquid. Guys, you could just put all the salmon in the bag, honey, and just pour all the liquid. I thought I was just being cute or something. I don't know, honey. Anyway, so we're pouring that pouring that um, in, getting the other salmon in. And then we're going to pull in the rest of our mixture. Now, the longer you let this sit, the more your trout is going to be marinated. And I think I said salmon a few minutes ago. So I, I gave you the PSA um, just in case I did that because I know me. 
Um, and so what I did, uh, once I got all the salmon in the bag, I'm sorry, once I got all the trout in the bag, I let all the air out and then I turned each piece of the trout I put it skin side up so the meat would be what's marinating in that bag and so you'll see how I, I just kind of flipped each one of them and then I set this in the fridge um, on a flat surface in the fridge for two hours like I said if you let it set longer it will taste better okay and so then the next thing I did and this is why um, how I get my skin crispy I take um, olive oil and I oil my aluminum foil I always put aluminum foil um, down when I'm either doing trout or salmon um, because it helps crisp that skin even though we got this in a glaze it's still gonna crisp that crisp up that skin Y'all, please forgive me. I'm so tongue-tied. Um, and so now what we're doing, we're getting all of our trout laid on this flat surface. And you can use a deeper dish, guys. Um, for me, this works out. It's less clean up. I ain't got to scrub nothing. But um, if you want to use a, a deeper dish, you know you, you can do that. And so what I'm doing now, I'm putting this in the oven on 400 for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to take that sauce that was in the bag and then I'm going to let this heat up and reduce some because I'm going to use this to glaze the trout. And so once we got this heated up and it uh, reduced, we then pulled um, our trout back out of the oven. All right, you guys, and so now what we're going to do, we're just going to take the um, sauce that we reduced and we're going to pour it over our trout and because we just want that top to be really glazed with the sauce that we made. And we're going to put this in the oven for uh, no more than five minutes. The thing about salmon and trout, salmon has a little more fat to me than trout does. So trout tends to be a little bit more flaky. I'll show you the kind of flakiness um, when I pull it back out. I did add some yellow rice and some asparagus. Guys, don't look at that. I burnt the cap. Listen, true cooks know about burning them caps on the stove, okay? And so um, this is a finished product, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to share these videos. Try this recipe. Let me know how you like it. Remember, honey, it's your kitchen. Do what you want. And also remember, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. You all be blessed and have a great weekend.